Good morning, YouTube family. How y'all doing out there today? I got some much needed rest on yesterday. Kind of cut my cut my video short of me getting ready to um, scope my 17 HMR on last night. I was I was burned out, man. So I'm picking it back up today, <clears throat> and I'm um, continue where I left off. Um, on last night, the last thing I did was scope the, um, was, um, lap the scope rings and got everything done as far as that, um, step go. So now I'm gonna, um, get ready to mount this scope and, um, try to get it bore sighted and hopefully I can make it out to the range today if, um, if time allowed me to. So, I want to talk a little bit about this scope here, guys. It's the um, Hawk Advantage Illuminated Reticle. It's specifically for the um, Rimfire line of rifles. And this one is for the 17 HMR. It's a 4x12 by, by 40 with an adjustable uh, objective bail. Um, parallax settings also is included in this so let's unbox this baby hawk is a um, name brand scope man i think it was first manufactured in german germany i believe it is don't quote me on this but um i think i read that somewhere when i was getting ready to purchase this scope I didn't want something that was gonna break the bank, but I also wanted to try something other than a Nikon or a Simmons or a Weaver. Um, or I, I thought about putting a Miyopto on here, which is my favorite scope. But Hulk is a reputable scope, man. And um, a lot of there was a lot of good reviews on this scope. It's very light. I can't remember. Let me see what the weight of it is here. It says weight um, 18.1 ounces. And you have a three and a half eye relief. So one inch tube. And the length of it is 13.6 inches. So, and on the end here, you have your, on the objective bell, you have your parallax settings and go all the way up to um, 150 yards and as low as 10 yards. So, um, that's great. And on the, um, on the left side, you have your, your illuminated reticle on and off. And it goes all the way up to five, on the, and it's red and green on here. So if you dust a done hunting, um, coon hunting, uh, varmint hunting, hog hunting, this is a good. This would be a great scope for that. Those low light situations, man. And on here you have your, on the end you have your fast focus. So once you get your um, your um find the yardage that you wanna that you're gonna be shooting at or whatnot you can focus that in with your magnification much better with this eyepiece here with the fast focus here so um like i said earlier this was a nice addition to the the scope by it having the illuminated reticles that's something that i really really like uh, and on the meoptoscope you have um uh, red dot in the center of it and that's something that I find is really helpful too in low light situations or even if you want to do a hog hunt but yeah check this you can go and google hawk and read up on their scopes man and, and um, check it out for yourself Normally, I order my scopes from Cameraland out of New York. They run some great deals on some high-end scopes there also. Um, that's a that's a 
another good spot you can check out. And they do open box sales, same warranty, man. So if a box is open, you might save yourself 100, 200 bucks off a high end scope. And that goes a long way. So that's Camera, camera Land out of New York. My uncle that passed away, big time gun, gun guy, hunter. And man, I couldn't tell you how many rifles and pistols that man had. Um, but he turned me on to me off the brain. Well, I set this scope in the base here, and we have a problem. So it looked like I'm going to have to go with a high ring. This is a medium ring. Yep, this is a medium. But I'm going to have to go with a, with a high because my objective bell is touching the barrel here. And when mounting the scope, you want to have it as close as, as close to the bore as possible. Uh, reason being accuracy, be more accurate that way. So, but that won't work because it's touching. Man, man. Anyway, <clears throat> I was really hoping to get that thing out to the range today and go back to work on tomorrow. So, um, what I'm probably going to do is I'll return these back to Amazon. I'll run them to the local academy and see if I can't find a high. So now with that being said, I'm going to have to go through the lapping process and the lining process all over again when I get a new set of rings. So I'm going to get up and get out of here and um, get this, get the show on the go. I'm going to package this up where I can send it back to Amazon. And and I know I'll probably be able to get them off of there, but I was really hoping to get this out of the way. Um, today, get it go and go ahead and get it um, laid bore sighted and get the scope on there. But um, don't you just hate when something like that happens? You get almost to the finish line and just can't quite cross the threshold. But anyway, it's going to be a good day. Cause I got faith that I'm gonna find those rings. The Bass Pro Shop is about ooh, 30, 40 minute drive from my house, so I'm hoping I don't have to go up there. Hoping I can find what I need right here at Academy. That'll put me back on track much faster. So. Leave a comment and tell me what you guys think about that, that Hawk scope. When, um, you guys do some research on it. Now, that's right up there with the, the Meoptas and the, the high-end Nikons, because they make different, different levels. <clears throat> this one here is more on the, um, entry-level side, the Advantage, um, line. But for this for this rifle, it, it, you don't need anything over the top. It's like overkill. It's overkill. Now, if I was really shooting, um, going reaching out there to try to, mo and most of my hunting is done within a hundred yards, man. I don't I don't shoot. Where we hunt is all wooded, so I don't shoot over a hundred yards in most cases. So, 
long range scope would just be a waste of money for me. But if I was um, topping this with a um, higher caliber caliber gun, I probably would go with me out there. <clears throat> or I'll probably find me a Zeiss Conquest. But hey, man, as always, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Um, let me know what you guys think about the setup, man. The 17 HMR top with that Hawk Optics 4x12 by 40 by with the adjustable optic um, objective bell. Um, illuminated reticles. Uh, I'm ready to get those squirrels and raccoons hell after the deer season is over. Maybe before deer season is over, but for sure after that. Um, <clears throat> I got to take my 22 uh, Magnum to the range and um, and recite it, take the sight on it. So, All right. I couldn't find the specs I found earlier. These are giving me two different ones. That's the base screw is within within range, so but so I'm gonna talk this down fourteen pounds to the um, base. It's no fourteen on the inside, I'll do fifteen. All right, I got 25 pounds on there with Loctite, removable Loctite. So I think we're in good hands on that. I won't Loctite these, um, the top of the rings yet because um, I'm gonna be screwing, messing with the screws there doing the alignment and lapping process so I won't talk them into I get ready mount it for good
That's good enough for the girls I know. Now I'm happy with that. <clears throat> I will say that um, these rings took a lot more effort to get them aligned compared to the, the Grand Slam Weavers. So for that reason, I think I'll make scope mount. I'll stick with the weavers. I have those on the rifle too. But when I mounted them, I didn't I didn't have this set up here. So
don't go anywhere. We'll work on them. I'll bring you back on when we lap them. I have to move my phone to a different angle. Much easier for me to, to get to it from this angle now that I have it setting that right now. So I'm just going to apply a little lapping compound. I mean, it's a process, but whatever it takes to make it dry, tax. And to have it set up right is more important. Trying to do it quick and then having to redo it again because you didn't do it right the first time. So we're just going to snug these down a little bit. On this other end, you got a threaded hole where you can attach a adapter and use your drill to do this. And I'm just doing it by hand. It's not that strenuous. And as you lap, you might have to prop them down a little bit as you go because you're removing material. I might have it a little bit too tight now. All right, I'm going to take it loose and see what it looks like. All right, remove quite a bit of uh, material. I'm going to wipe this down. So 
you can notice outside is matte black and you can tell what a material has been removed on the inside. So let me get these cleaned up and I'll come back. Now I got the easy level on here. I got it mounted to the barrel. Got the bubble in between the two lines on here, the bubble in between the two lines on the scope. What that tells me is the vertical should be straight up and down and not canted. So now I'm going to remove this and go ahead and mount it. I got my eye relief set to um, my likings. Um, I think it's like three and a half for this scope between the ocular and your pupil. So, depending on where you mount your cheek on the stock, just want to make sure your eye is resting three and a half inches back to get a good sight picture. So, I'm going to double check this again. Looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and mount this down. When you're tightening these screws down, you want to try and do an equal amount of turns on both sides until you get them snug. So I'm just using the Allen wrench that was supplied with it until I get ready to talk it down. Then I use the talk wrench. A little dab of do you on, on this thread thread lock kind of scratch my scope a little bit when I was sliding it back and forth doing the mount when I was trying to find when I was trying to find my eye relief Turn this so I can look at the gaps on both sides. You can get this tool off Amazon. I'll try to remember to put the link in the description there for those who may be interested. For those who are not, then this don't apply to you. I like the little pouch, it's pretty hard. Cardboard to keep it safe, eh? That's what I like. I'll leave that off. 
克夫纳、波塞的那么一句。Take this outside and look through it, and just make sure、um, my post or line, my vertical properly aligned when I shoulder it. Well, there we have it, folks. Just finished scoping it out. Took it outside、um, about 15 minutes ago, and laser bore sighted at 25 yards. So she's ready for the woods now. Well, she's ready for the range now. I went to Bass Pro Shop and picked up some、um, 25, not 25, 20 grain、uh, 17 HM, HMR bullets. Still waiting on my bullets to come from Bud Gun Shop, my、um, 20 grain soft point. <clears throat>、um, they fly about、um, 23 feet per second. So I'm、um, about. A little shy of 200 slower than the 17 grain, but I want that thump. That's why I'm going with the 20 grain. So the four miller jackets will get me sighted in. And,、um, but you can also hunt with them too. You just put a headshot on them squirrels and coons, and it'll do, do what it needs to do. But look out, squirrels and coons. Just to knock one down coming for you. And when I come, Gonna be trouble. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to today's episode, part two. We're able to finish it up on yesterday.、Uh, then I ran into a m o u n t a i problem this morning with the scope rings.、Um, they w a s too close to the barrel, so、uh, I went with a medium height originally, and my objective bell was bottoming out on top of the barrel here, so I had to go with a high ring. So, I can have some clearance there. And、um, <clears throat> I double checked the trigger on the first video to make sure it was at two and a half pounds and not four. So, we got that squared away. Got everything talked down to the specs on the rings and back on the receiver when, where I took it a loose. So,、um, <clears throat> I think this thing c o m e with a five round, I think it's a five round mag. That it came with, but、um, they sell some 10 round mags. But when I looked online, they w a s all out. But、um, everything I did here today on、uh, the Hawk Scope, this is a Hawk Advantage Series 4x12 by, by 40 with the illuminated reticles. It worked good in dust, low light situations. Front objective bell has、um, parallax setting. And、um, That's pretty much it to it, man.、Um, it's a pretty good scope. Won't break the bank.、Uh, of course, they have some on the upper echelon side of it, of the, the Hulk series, a brand that, that's you know, up there in price. But for 17 HMR, this, this brand here suits me just fine. So I can't wait to get to the range with it and then get on. Get on some animals with it. But hey, God bless you. Y'all have a good holiday, good Christmas. And、um, hey, go out there and hunt some. It's your boy, Mr. Knock One Down, signing off. Peace. <laughs>